time South Park does something, all the leftist weirdos lose their mind because they're triggered by it and the other side of the aisle isn't. And it's always fucking hilarious, and I love to see it. So over the weekend, South Park had its South Park Into the Panderverse release. I sat down and watched it. Some of it was funny, some of it wasn't, but it's it's South Park, right? I'm like, eh, that's okay. And then other things, I'm like, holy shit, they did that. But again, some weirdos are fucking triggered and just bitching and complaining about it because it made fun of them. So we're going to get into this article and uh, laugh a little bit at some weirdos. But before we do, make sure you smash that like button and make sure you subscribe and make sure you share this video out. Now, let's get into the degeneracy of it all. South Park is hailed for mocking Disney over entertainment giant's incessant woke pandering that has been blamed for multiple box office flops. Now, you know, the gender swap, the race swapping, all of it, just all of it. And if you haven't seen it yet, what happens is there's the Pandaverse universe, and then there's the South Park universe, and, uh, the universes collide and there's a crossover like every fucking Marvel movie we've gotten for the last couple of years. So right out of the gate, they're making fun of Marvel, and it's fantastic. Cartman gets sucked into the Pandaverse, where everybody is a fucking diverse woman. Literally everybody. The entire gang's all fucking diverse women. It's fantastic. And then Kathleen Kennedy gets sucked into this, their universe, and it's making everything woke as shit. Everything has to be a boring woman and gay, right? So right out of the gate, they're just shitting all over Disney. But let's get into the article. The animated show South Park has been hailed for slamming Disney and Star Wars' incessant woke pandering in their latest special. Joining the Pandaverse, which aired on Paramount Friday, lobbed satirical grenades at the Hollywood Film Studios over their politically correct casting. Eric Cartman, who is a white child in the show, gets replaced by a black woman, sparking fury among his friends Stan, Kyle, and Kenny. Yep. But when they question their school principal at the change, he tells them, if you boys don't think Eric can be a black woman, then maybe the problem is you. Right? The same shit we hear. Elon Musk and Donald Trump Jr. were among those praising the show, which won plaudits for slamming Prince Harry and Meghan Markle last season. Yeah, this it doesn't matter. South Park makes fun of everything. That's why we laugh at it and why it only angers the weirdos. In one viral clip, Cartman is seen speaking to a therapist about how he believes woke casting is leading to his own friends being replaced by more di di diverse versions of themselves in his nightmares before ranting about Lucasfilm CEO Kathleen Kennedy. So skipping through the spoilers, Disney has long faced complaints, particularly from conservatives, at their attempts to try and cater to a more liberal audience by replacing characters from beloved movies and shows with a more diverse options. No, because they would still have half their audience. They aren't even getting half their audience. They're pissing everybody off. But thank you, Daily Mail, for giving it a fucking try. You failed. So I'm going to skip a bunch of this article because it's given spoilers. And you guys just need to watch it because... There's, there's not just the Pandaverse plot. I mean, it is all the Pandaverse plot. But there's a nice little uh, Randy Marsh plot behind it. How nobody knows how to do anything. And how they all call have to call handymen. And the handymen are fucking billionaires. Because uh, everybody just keeps paying the handyman more to fix shit. Because they don't have time. It's This is one of the ones where I'm normally like, okay, yeah, you're making fun of everything. This one I was like, oh shit. This one's actually pretty good. All right, so back to the article. Benny Johnson called the episode a banger and said it was the episode's anti-Disney commentary shows were winning. A more liberal inclined viewer noted that Cartman, who once fed the ashes of a boy's dead parents to him in a famous episode, is often seen as the show's villain and taking his commentary at face value can seem misguided. Fuck off. It's fucking funny. And it was spot on. Conservatives can constantly view Eric Cartman as the moral voice of reason in every South Park clip they pull. It's so fucking funny. For fuck's sake. <clears throat> it's a joke. Not a dick. Don't take it so hard. Then again, I know you weirdos probably like that. In February, South Park took aim at Duke and Duchess of Suff Sussex in an episode depicting the Prince and Princess of Canada, a young world couple, who loudly begged for privacy while drawing attention to themselves. Yes. 
Well, you know, the one where they're holding out signs, yelling everybody to ignore them while they're screaming in the street. Now we're jumping over the screen right because I always have the pure perfect fucking takes. So here we go. The latest South Park episode, Joining the Pandaverse, has targeted the divided Star Wars fandom. The special is twice the length of a normal episode and tackles the increasing diversity in Hollywood concerns by Star Wars fans about Lucas, President Kathleen Kennedy, the WGA and SAG after the strikes. The special was released on Paramount on October 27th, blah, 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 blah. Ahead of South Park Season 27, joining the Pandaverse special offers insight into Trey Parker and Matt Stone's take on several divisive issues in Hollywood. There have been numerous reactions to the special with at Red Team Review on Twitter praising the episode. Leave it to South Park not only to dunk on Disney for virtual signaling, but also grifter weirdos who made hating Kathleen Kennedy their entire personality. I also love how some of those people are too dumb to realize they're being made a fun of. God damn, what a great episode. I'm curious who they're talking about, because anybody I've watched, like, they hate Kathleen Kennedy as much as I do. But that's not their fucking personality. But, you know, maybe it's just somebody projecting through confession. While Red Team Review hints at the existence of viewers who may assume South Park was entirely genuine in this critique of Kennedy, there is evidence that those viewers do exist. Gina Carano, who starred as Cara Dune in The Mandalorian, released her own statement about this special and appears to have taken the special seriously. Check out Carano's comments below on geeksandgamers.com. All right, where did I put that tweet? Yeah, and for those of you who don't know, uh, Star Wars, Lucasfilm, Disney told Gina Carano that she had to put pronouns in her fucking bio. You have to do it. You have to pander. She didn't. And so they put her through a struggle session and then fired her. Because she wouldn't fucking pander. Is that what a uh, screen right here is complaining about? She didn't pander hard enough? They're upset that the panderverse... Alright, so here is Gina's tweet. This is the part where KK demands any YouTubers get censored off of YouTube for sharing and laughing at this hilarious episode. She'll have YouTube disable the thumbs down option because of the ratio she'll receive. Then she'll have the publicist ghouls make sure Variety and Hollywood reporters run hit pieces on South Park creators and their families, smearing their names through every useful idiot she has under her thumb, who would sell their soul to work for Lucasfilm. She'll activate her online mob to repeat that the South Park creators are racist bigots and transphobes and demand the South Park creators publicly apologize by only using words she approves of. And finally, she'll demand they subject themselves to a re-education course of 45 people in the Alphabet community Zoom call to sit there and listen to how badly they got their feelings hurt all over a little bit of boop of a South Park episode. Maybe, just maybe, the jig is up. So yeah, Gina called out Kathleen Kennedy on Twitter. And uh, Screen Rant is amplifying it. And if we have figured out anything by now, it is that Kathleen Kennedy has a fucking ego where she has to self-insert herself into fucking movies and make sure she's the one that's always on the screen. She's on every fucking movie. Somewhere listed, she's in every fucking movie. I bet she is fucking seething at this one. And it's fantastic. And of course, Screen Rain is here to make sure that they uh, don't tell you exactly what happened, but try and throw her under the bus, just like she said they were going to do. Thanks, Screen Rant, proving the fucking point. But just in case all this fucking cope, seething, and malding wasn't enough, there's a little bit more. So the entire show, their Cartman is constantly trying to play Baldur's Gate 3, which is fantastic. So they make fun of Baldur's Gate. So the creators of Baldur's Gate 3, Larry and Studios, had to come out and say, That's not true! South Park joining the Panderverse included a relevant inaccuracy about Baldur's Gate 3 cross-save capabilities between PC and PS5 and Larian had to intervene to address the mistake. This episode of South Park has literally triggered everybody. And I'm dying laughing at how many people are fucking triggered by fucking jokes. God, it's... I enjoyed it. I'm still laughing. And now I'm going to get to laugh at the morons that are butthurt because of a fucking comedy show. And that's where I stand in this entire thing. So if you haven't seen it, find a way to watch it.
it's totally worth it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was only like 40 minutes long. It wasn't anything special. It's not a full movie, but it was good. And you know it's good because everybody's seething about it. Because if you've seen it, I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you one of the weirdos who are going to fucking re about it on Twitter? But while you're there, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you're subscribed, and make sure you share this video out. It really does help. But until the next one, be easy like sleazy.